Does all this real estate information coming at you online leave you a bit confused? Attrition rate, inventory, average sales, discounts. What does it mean? How does it affect you? Stay tuned. I'm going to break down the data and explain how it affects you as a buyer or a seller. Cool? Hey there, it's me, Stefan Bashad, the Desert Bowtie Realtor here in the Greater Palm Springs region. I record and post content here about the local real estate market and the desert lifestyle because I love what I do. And I believe real estate should be fun and easy. Okay, so you're here for the market update, but you're not really sure how all this data affects you. That's actually really cool because I'm going to break it down for you. So let's get started. We start with prices, median prices. The current median price is averaging $689,000, which is about $7,200 higher than last month. And it's about 4.4% above last year. That was for single family homes. Condos surged by $26,000 up to $460,000, which is 6% below its peak and up 2% from a year ago. Those numbers are for the entire valley. The breakdowns of the same stats for each city are on the chart I send out every month. I call it my market at a glance. This information is important since it gives you an idea of where current prices are and which direction prices are going in any of the desert cities. Buyers and sellers get a rough idea on prices for the entire valley or a particular city. The percent change gives an idea of which direction prices are moving and it shows any trends. This is a rough idea. If you need a more detailed information about a neighborhood or subdivision, give me a call, text, or email. I'd be happy to help out. I stay on top of this information monthly, so it's easy for me to do because I'm a big old data nerd. Like, for real. Months of supply. For the Valley, it currently stands at 3.2 months, which is slightly up from last month. If no new homes are added for sale, then we only have three months worth of inventory to sell at the current sales tempo. This is also known as the attrition rate. It points to how quick homes are selling. The higher the demand, the lower this number will be, depending on inventory levels, of course. I'll get to inventory later. Days in market. This is the average time on market for a property valley-wide. This number can either be higher or lower in any particular city or subdivision. Currently, our average days on market is 48 days, which is down one day from last month, but it's up 25 days from a year ago. It is creeping back up, but it's still below our pre-2020 average of 65 days. Sellers get an idea of how long it may take to sell a home. Each city is broken down in the full report. Buyers can get an idea of how long homes may be on the market on average. If a home has been on the market longer than this, the seller might be willing to negotiate. Currently, there are a lot of motivated sellers negotiating since home sales are slower. Boy, this is a lot of information. If you know someone who's looking to buy or sell in the Greater Palm Springs region, please give me a call, text, or email. I promise to take excellent care of them. Inventory. Inventory is the actual number of properties that are available for sale in our market. Our inventory currently stands at 1976 units, which is slightly above last month, but 1,298 units more than a year ago. This number means nothing without observing the trends over time. Over time, you can see how this inventory number has been decreasing steadily since 2017. This shows an increase in demand and the resulting market activity. Also, you can notice before 2020 are seasonal ups and downs that are normal in this market. Notice what happened after March 2020. You can see the result on our inventory due to the COVID rush and high demand. April last year, we had about 678 properties for sale. Eee! Now we're seeing just above 1976, which means that we're seeing some balance return to our market. Next, we have the sales volume, also known as average unit sales. This is the actual unit sales activity that happens from month to month. For the Greater Palm Springs region, this is broken down into two graphs because of our seasonality. We have a three month average and a 12 month average. We break this down because the seasonality affects our sales activity. For the three month average, we currently have a combined total of 545 units sold. Before the pandemic, April sales averaged 813 units per month. So sales are running about 33% below average. Notice how the graph jumps up and down as it follows our seasonal pattern. Pre-COVID, you can see how it followed a regular seasonal pattern. During the COVID rush, it shot up to over 1,000 units per month and got as high as 1,300 units. Compare this to our average of 700 units. That's double our normal activity. The 12-month average removes the seasonality and shows how homes are selling year over year. Notice that there are no seasonal ups and downs on the graph. However, you do notice how it shot up during COVID and is now slowly getting back down to what we would consider normal activity. 
You can see the relative stability in the three years prior to COVID on this graph and how it is slowly returning to what we previously saw. This shows buyers and sellers how many homes are selling desert wide and indicates demand. We are down approximately 23% from our pre-pandemic averages, which were just above 800 units per month. Currently, we are at 623 units per month. So high sales and low inventory will push prices higher and low demand and more inventory like we have now, prices tend to soften. Selling over list price. This shows how many homes are selling above list price. This graph clearly shows demand. However, more importantly, the level of competition. Last year at this time, over 50% of the homes were selling above list price, 50%. Currently, we have 13.4%. Buyers and sellers are currently seeing less competition and homes are selling close to list price. I believe if a home is priced well, it sells at list price or over. Pricing is really important and it's the key to creating strong interest in properties. So my summary? Well, I trust you first of all understand this a little bit more. More importantly, how it affects you as a buyer or a seller. And now you can make more informed decisions with confidence. My summary for the Valley is that the numbers show a slow return to pre-COVID activity. Our inventory is still down by about a thousand units from pre-pandemic levels. However, other figures are continuing to look more normal. The low unit sales are a return to pre-pandemic seasonal patterns coupled with higher interest rates and inflation. The low inventory is now coupled with the seasonal contraction of our inventory as we head into summer. I and other realtors are starting to see an uptick in sales and market activity. I've also spoken with lenders and inspectors who state that their business is also on the rise. These are all lagging indicators pointing to market coming off the cooling and leveling from the high interest rates and inflation. So we're starting to see some easing on those fronts as well. Please like, comment, and share this video with a friend or family member. Thanks. Now, check out how I got into real estate. Bye. Pre. Thanks. With a family member. Thanks. Huh.